What's going on my fellow jewelers? So today I'm out of my comfort zone, like completely, ultimately out of my comfort zone. I am using material in my jewelry pieces. Oh, my, I've never used material. I'm using like faux leather, I'm using vinyl and a little bit of real leather. I've never used it before, I would love it, but I'm completely out of my comfort zone. So do not take this as professional as I know what I'm doing. You're on this roller coaster ride with me. Now the things I usually show you, I have done for like 10 years and I am very comfortable with it and I love it and I love teaching you well I had this company call me global land and they were sent me an email and they're like hey we want to send you some free product if you do some jewelry videos and I'm like yeah I love doing jewelry videos for companies please you know like heck yeah and they're like well here's our website go check out our product and the product was die cutters die cutters these and other shapes like these are die cutters there's these like metal uh, little shapes with this edge on it do you see this edge around it and you put material on it and then you roll stuff and it cuts into this cute little shape and you can make earrings and necklaces and cool jewelry and I was like oh, okay sure I'd love to do that and all these ideas kept coming in my head so I said yeah yeah I'll totally do it well I'm totally out of my element when it comes to material I don't know anything about materials I don't sew I don't knit I don't do that kind of stuff and so I'm like okay now that the product's coming to me I gotta find material and so I have to tell you this cute story. I went to go look up fabric and I went to um, a fabric store and I had my son with me and I, I guess I look kind of panicked. And he goes, mom, are you are you okay? I go, no baby, I, I feel like a fish out of water. You know, like a fish likes water and they, they breathe in it, but when a fish gets out of water, they flop around. I feel like I'm flopping around. And so for the rest of our time at the, at the fabric store, he goes, mom, you still feeling like a fish out of water? Mom, are you a fish? Mom, how you feeling like a fish out of water? I'm like, it was so cute. It was so funny and it helped me feel a little bit better. Um, um, and so today I am doing an un unboxing video of what the company sent me. Oh, I'm so excited to show you all the shapes they sent me, all the things I picked out. And then the next video after that, I'm teaching you how to make earrings with vinyl and faux leather. Hello. And then my favorite um, thing I'm going to do is my third video with this company. I am going to make a necklace using chain and faux leather and it's going to look so cute. I can't wait to show you. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell to get notifications because I'm all about the how to's of jewelry making. So you and me, let's get started. So these are the die cutters I got um, from Global Land. Now these are just half of them. I'm gonna show you the other half in a second. But this is actually an earring making kit for beginners like me, for people that have no idea what they're doing. It's actually an amazing kit. You get all these shapes. I love all these shapes. These are, I mean like the more I try them out, the more I use my material, the more I, I love all these shapes. You can make them for earrings. I'm sure you can have them for bracelets and, and the necklace. Oh, I can't wait for the necklace. So you get all these shapes. And then they also send you shepherd hooks and jump rings. So you could, you have pretty much almost everything you need besides the material and the machine to do it. But it just made it really easy for me for a beginner like me. Um, I want to show you some of the material I've cut up already. So ready for this? I'm going to do some YouTube magic. So here are the materials I've used so far. So I have some vinyl. Vinyl is a little thick, so I have to use some scissors sometimes. Now the best thing I found is faux leather. It's super thin. You have to find a really thin material. And then also I have real leather, which I've had to use. I've cut it and then had to use scissors to, to cut the rest of it and stuff. And I'll show you all that in the next video, but they're just super cute. And I can't, I love making earrings with these. I love with um, necklaces. So I've just really fallen in love with this kit. So then um, I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you the other pieces I got, some other die cutters I got from this company. So you ready? Okay, so these things, I thought I could make into earrings. I really thought I could make into earrings. Um, but the material is just too thick to make any kind of earring with it. So I'm probably going to try to find um, some really thin plastic. Um, this, uh, I hear there's a really pretty gel sheet for earring making. And so I might try it on that. But aren't these gorgeous? Wouldn't these be fun, huge earrings? If you like your big earrings, these are what I'm so excited about. Now, these are usually used for your scrapbook and card making but why not turn them into jewelry so anyway that is what I got from global land oh 
I love all those shapes. Oh my goodness. I think this is one of my favorite shapes because it is like a leaf and stuff. And they have, I love the star. I just, I love all these die cutters. Who knew, right? Like who knew this world? Well, okay. I didn't know this world. If you know this world, comment below. Send me some of your tips and tricks because I am just on the seat of my pants, just flying by. I don't even know if that made sense. But anyway, thank you to Global Land for sending me free product. If you want to check them out or purchase the same things I did or even some other stuff that they have, I'll put their website in the link in the description below. You can go ahead and click what you want. It'll send to your cart when you get to their website and then you purchase from there. You know, the whole online thing. I love it. Thank you Global Land for doing that. Go check out my links. And guys, thank you for watching this video. Comment, share, like. I need some tips and tricks. Please send help. Send help. Anyway, I'm excited to show you the next video with these cool earrings I'm making. And then after that, that fabulous necklace. Oh, I can't wait. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!